got a rooftop unit here that's not cooling well. Now, the frame rate is making this show up a lot clearer than it is, but all of these fans appear to be running. This one just slightly slower, but you have to watch out for this. When you've got a motor not running, what's actually going on is air's being pulled in and uh, causing this blade to spin and so that's bypassing the coil now sometimes units will cut on this fan or that fan so we want to make sure that that's not what's going on here and that all three of these are supposed to be running but just something to be aware of another thing i've got four one inch filters down there with uh, restricted return grills. So this thing is double filtered, which is not good. We need to, uh, I'm probably going to remove those one inchers and clean the grills, even though it makes the duct work a bit nastier. Um, this rooftop really needs just two inch filters. We don't want to be double filtering this, especially with one inch filters. Now, if you look here, condenser fans one and two run together always. Uh, and this is what I was talking about. It's not necessarily a bad sign when all the fans aren't running, but you just want to make sure. And here we have condenser fan two. So one and three should be running via this, which is on. And then this contactor here is off, but we just want to check and make sure that fan can run. I want to show something real quick first. Um, don't ever try to ohm a fan motor when the blade's turning, because as you can see, you're going to get an erratic reading. And this is because the motor's acting like a generator and back feeding some voltage into here, which you know, we may or may not be able to see. It just depends on the impedance of the meter. Yeah, there you go. Got it in DC just to try to pick up the uh, kind of hash. Yeah, it's not going to show anything in AC, but with the fan blade running, you can't be owning anything out. Uh, just FYI. This is a 24 volt system. So let's just make sure this contactor is not being called for, and it's not. So that's good. All right, let's watch it run now. Fan motor is good. It may just be dealing with an airflow issue. When I first got up here, I noticed this uh, controller was in alarm. I just don't know what this refers to, which limit. But even though this is wrong, I, I think that this trip was recent. If I go. Okay, it looks like that's been tripping out recently. From that code, we have that it was ID8, which is R7 and 8. And if you look over here, these are compressor interlocks. So, go down here. 7 and 8. So, it doesn't tell us much because are tied together but <laughs> oh man that's ridiculous but it's one of these so very unhelpful that condenser coil is really nasty and uh, especially when you're looking at it up close in between the fins so I do know that this site has neglected PMs for oh man years and years and the company that was quote unquote doing it was not doing anything so maybe it's just a dirty condenser compressor 2 is running as it should be now looks like the high pressure switch is a manual reset so okay so that code must have just been throwing every time the controller wanted this to run and it wouldn't run uh, it's 
been very, very hot out. Um, so with that subpar condenser, this thing probably did trip out on high pressure. I don't know that I'll actually clean this today. Uh, it's probably gonna have to be quoted, but you know, it, it, it looks like we just have a issue with this thing having that compressor tripped, subpar airflow inside, and just overall lack of maintenance. All right, those circuits looking pretty good. This is what I was talking about, restricted airflow inside. So all of these are really bad. 